Hello everyone, it is Martha here with you. Um, so today I'm going to be creating this super, super cute little um, photo organization box with some really fun products from La La Land Crafts. So this is a really, really, um, I think, simple and cute little uh, box to organize your photos. Um, you can definitely use it for any purpose. I think it would be a really cute card box. You could just put cards on here or whatever you'd like. Um, I use this beautiful um, Mona stamp from La Land Crafts that I colored up with my Copic markers. And I use the gorgeous um, note to self paper pack from La La Land Crafts for all these sweet, sweet papers on here. So um, let's get started, let's make it. Okay, everyone, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is a piece of cardstock. I'm using 80 pound cardstock and it's like a really pretty peach color and it measures five by seven and a quarter. And on the seven and a quarter inch side, you're just gonna score at half an inch. And then I'm using some pattern paper and the pattern paper measures four and three quarters by six. And it is from the note to self paper pad from La La Land Crafts. It's super happy and fun and bright. And it's just really, really great. Um, I think for New Year's and fresh starts and all that fun stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pattern paper and I'm gonna glue it onto the cardstock centered into this top section so we're not worrying about that score line at the bottom we're only worried about the top so centered into that top section just like this just make sure it's really nicely centered all right so now i have got the inverted scalloped rectangle die here from La La Land Crafts and all I'm going to do is I'm going to center it into my um, my panel here that I've created so you can definitely um, you can definitely measure if you'd like I'm just going to eyeball it I'm just gonna place a piece of washi tape here. All right, then I'm just going to put my other plate on top and we're gonna run this through the die cutting machine. Aperture cut into the front there, just like this. So next we're going to cut our frame. So I've got again the inverted scalloped rectangles and then I've also got the stitched scalloped rectangle die here also from La Land Crafts and then I'm using this gorgeous pattern. So what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is take these dies and place them upside down so that the cut side is up and I'm just going to place my inverted scalloped die inside of the regular scalloped die like this and I'm just going to place them together make sure that they're it fits really nicely inside of it and it it does they're meant to work together and I'm just going to put a piece of tape just so they stick together and then just place it wherever on your pattern that you want and then we're just going to run that through the die cutting machine all right and then once it's all cut you will have this gorgeous frame all right, now we can go ahead and glue our frame onto our base that we made. So I'm just gonna use my art glitter glue here and just put it all the way around there. And just try your very best to line up 
all of your little scallops. It looks lined up from the front and the back. All right, so the next thing we need to do is attach our acetate to the back of this panel that we created. So I have a piece of acetate here that measures four and three quarters by six. And I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the backings of the score tape that is on the back of it. All right, and then all I'm gonna do is place it right on the back, just centered in. Really, really easy peasy, just like this, okay? All right, so now that we have our acetate on, let's go ahead and do some of the um, embellishing of the front of this before we assemble it all. It's just easier at this step. So as we know, this is going to be a photo organization box. So I've used the skinny letters dies. So it's the whole alphabet and they just come like this. And I have cut out the word photo and I've put it on here. You can do photos, but just with the way I wanna set this up, it didn't work. So that's totally your choice. And so I also cut one of the long flags dies. Um, also from La La Land Crafts, and I just cut it out of the same peach cardstock, and then I just glued the word photo on here just like this. And then I've already attached some tape to the back, and I'm going to place this about right here. I don't want it all the way to the bottom, so that is about where I want that. And then my little cutie Mona, so this is um, a rubber stamp, from La Land Craft, and I've colored her up with my Copic markers. And her name is Soul Mona, and she's gonna go right here, and I will have everything um, linked below for you guys. So let me get the backing off of this foam tape, because she is gonna be popped up. And I'm not worried about, you know, seeing any of this from the inside, because this is gonna be like an enclosed um, box so I'm not worried about it so she's gonna go right about here all right so the next thing we can actually do is go ahead and bend this score line back here just like that and then I have another piece of my peach cardstock that measures again five by seven and a quarter and I scored it at an inch so these two will get attached together just like this, okay? And that's going to be the beginnings of our box. So I'm just going to use my art glitter glue and I'm going to put it all over this section here, just the one inch section. And then I'll take my other one and just place these two together, just like that, and then you can burnish it from this side. Just make sure they're nice and even to each other, so that'll be, you know, the beginnings of our box. So stinking cute. All right, I'm gonna put that aside for a second, and we'll work on the little, um, like the expanding sides of our box. So these two pieces up again, just the peach cardstock, measure three by six and an eighth. I made it just an eighth of an inch shorter than the box base because then we'll just have a lot better clearance at the bottom. So then what I did, so three by six and an eighth, on the three inch side, I scored it at half an inch, one and a half and two and a half, okay? So then the way we're going to um, fold this you can fold the center line down just like this. Then these two side ones will get folded up. And I've already attached some score tape to those. So 
that's what it should look like. And when you attach it, the point is gonna to go towards the inside. So you're gonna do that twice for both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to my back piece first. So the piece that doesn't have, like it's not the embellished side. I'm gonna go ahead and just remove a little bit of my score tape to begin. And I'm gonna line it up all the way to the top of this. So line it up all the way to the top and all the way down the side. And then I'm just slowly removing my score tape as I go down. So now you'll see there's a tiny gap at the bottom right there and that's what we want that's just a little bit of nice clearance there okay and then you're going to do the same thing on the other side so i'm going to remove a bit of my backing if it'll let me and start at the top Go all the way to the top. Make sure you're lined up to the side here. You can always check to make sure you're not going over on the outside. And just slowly remove that tape as you're going down okay so it should look like this all right so we're gonna lay this aside for now and we're gonna work on our little closure on the top okay so what we have here is a piece again of our peach cardstock and what I've done is it was just a scrap so let me measure it so it's three and three quarters by one and a half. So I scored it at one and a half and at two and a half. Okay, so one and a half and two and a half. So you're gonna have a one and a half inch section, a one inch section and a one inch section, okay? So then I also die cut. So these two cutie dies come from the large banner die. So it's this scalloped one here and then this layers onto it. So these come with the large banner dies from La La Crafts. So I've cut one out of like a pretty like pistachio colored cardstock and one from the um, note to self paper pad. And I'm just going to layer these together. Just kind of spread my glue out. Just like this. So they're meant to layer so that the top layer covers everything except for that scallop, okay? Just like this. All right, so then we're gonna glue this onto this little half inch section here, and I'm just gonna use my art glitter glue and I'm gonna put glue all over this, or sorry, not half inch, one inch section. And of course you can use any dies you want for this. This is just what I, what I chose to use. So just try to center it as best as you can onto there. So just like this. And then before we attach it on, I wanna attach just one of my magnets. So I'm not planning on cover the, covering these magnets. So what I'm doing is I already put a piece of square tape on the back of both of them so that there's not a big piece of tape to cover. And I'm just gonna put one right in the center here. So I'm gonna remove my backing. So these are the 12 by one millimeter magnets and I just get them from Amazon. So this is just gonna go right about here. Then I'm gonna bring my box base back in and this is gonna get attached like this. Okay, so I'm gonna put glue all over this section here and I'm going to center it to the best of my abilities. 
I think that looks decently centered there, maybe a little bit over this way. Just like that. All right. So that can just get laid back for now. Before we close the box up, I want to add a piece of powder paper inside because you will be able to see it through the window. So this piece of pattern paper measures four and three quarters by six. And I'm just gonna use my beacon glue to attach it. So it's just gonna go right in the back here. Just center it in nicely there. All right, so now we are ready to close up the box. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove a little bit of my backing here just to get it started. Make sure you bend it outwards then bring this edge up. And just line up the top and the sides. And then you can just slowly Remove your backing all the way to the bottom. So that's that side done. And then you'll just do the same thing on the other side. You can definitely use glue for this, but sometimes I just find it easier to use tape, quite honestly. Make sure that's inside of there. Line it up to the top. And then just slowly remove your backing all the way down. Just like that. And then that gives you your super cute little photo box. All right, so now all we have to do is attach our other magnet here, and then we can get it closed up. So I have already put the tape on the back. I'm letting them snap together. Then I will <laughs> remove the backings, bring it over so that it's nice and square. Don't press down until you know that it is. Like that about, I would say. Then you can press down your other magnet. Just like that. And then that'll open up. And so you'll have your exposed magnets. But like I said, for me, that does not bother me. Um, that's what I wanted. That's why I put tape. And then it'll close up just like that. All right, so the final touches is just to put some pattern paper on the back and on this little top piece here, which is totally optional if you don't want to. So the pattern paper for the back measures four and three quarters by six. And I'm just using my beacon glue to attach that. So that's just gonna go right here. like this super super cute and again the papers from the note to self paper pad then I've got a little piece of my pattern paper that measures three quarters by one and a quarter and it's just the same paper we use for the frame and that is just gonna go right here all right so that is it all finished up I really really love it it's super super cute I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I will have all the pr products that I used um, linked below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.